Hi everyone, my name is Apple and I'll be presenting my home country where I grew up in. So welcome to Pampanga, Philippines. Uh, we'll be covering the location, some history, attractions, culture, climate, and some fun facts. So the location. So Pampanga is a province in the Philippines. And in the Philippines, there are three regions in total. Uh, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. And Pampanga is located in the central Luzon region. The capital of it is San Fernando. History. Pampanga was established by the Spanish conquistator Martin de Goiti in 1571. In this region, most people would speak a Pampangan, one of the major dialects. The name Pampanga comes from the words Pampang Ilog, which means riverside in English, and Pampanga is divided into towns and is further divided into districts in which we call barrios. The Battle of Santo Tomas. In 1899, the Battle of Santo Tomas took place in Pampanga. It was a battle between the Philippines and the United States. Hoping to gain some, some independence, Filipino soldiers sided with the Americans during the Spanish-American War. However, once the Spain was defeated, the Americans took control of the Filipinos that led to another war. Attractions Hot Air Balloon Festival Pampanga is best known for the Hot Air Balloon Festival. It's a four-day annual event between January and February, and the festival features multicolored hot air balloons flying in and around the field. Sky Ranch. Sky Ranch is an amusement park and has three branches in the Philippines, the Gaitai, Pampanga, and Baguio. The Ferris wheel located in Pampanga is the tallest Ferris wheel in the Philippines with a height of 213 feet. Aqua Park. Aqua Park is the largest water park in the Philippines. The park is about 10 hectares big and has about 38 slides and attractions. Culture. Uh, food. Kapampangan are well known for their passion for food. One of the top traditional Kapampangan dishes is called sisig. It can be served as a main dish or an appetizer. More popular Kapampangan dishes include menudo, caldereta, embutido, brinji, tocino, and many more. Festivals. In the Philippines, each province has its own kind of festivals that they celebrate to reflect their rich culture and native traditions. An example is a festival called Makatapak Festival, celebrated during November in Pampanga. It is a reminder of the strength and the unity of the people in the city of Pacolor when Mount Pinatuba erupted in 1991. Some other festivals in Pampanga include Sinukuan Festival, Dukwit Festival, and Ligligan Festival, which means Giant Lantern Festival. Climate. There are two types of climate in Pampanga, rainy and dry. The rainy season starts in May and ends in October, and the rest of the year is the dry season. The warmest month happens in between March and April, and the coolest period is from December to February. This year, the highest temperature is 30 degrees Celsius, and the lowest is 28 degrees Celsius. The current currency exchange rate. So one Canadian dollar is equal to about 40 pesos and one USD dollar is equal to about 50 pesos. Fun facts. Did you know that Pampanga was once the capital of the Philippines? During the violent British behavior in Manila, Pampanga was the capital of the Philippines. It only lasted for two years, 1762 to 1764. Also, during the Spanish colonial period, 
Manila and its surrounding regions largely depended on Pampanga. Did you know that Pampanga is represented in the Philippine flag? Pampanga is located at one of the eight rays of the sun in the Philippines, in the Philippine flag. The rays in the flag represent the provinces that allied against the armed revolt against Spain in the late 19th century. Did you know that Pampanga has 17 annual festivals in total? The themes of the festivals include religious or public statements or culinary themes. And that concludes my presentation. Thank you so much for watching.